This video will show you how to set up the distance learning homepage using the template that you can find in Canvas Commons. So I'm in an existing course here and I already have a homepage set up and I have things in this course and I'm just going to go grab the homepage from Commons. So I'm going to click on import from Commons. It is likely one of the featured items listed at the top here. You can see we have the middle school distance learning homepage and high school. So I'm going to click on the middle school one, click on import, select the course that I want to import it into, and then click on import into course. If you have multiple courses that you want to import it into, you can either import it directly into all of those courses, or you can create one and then copy it to the other courses, whichever one you prefer. Now I'm going to go back to my dashboard and open up that course I imported it into. And you'll notice my home page did not change, so I'm going to have to click on Pages, View All Pages, and it'll show me all the pages I have in this course. So if I click on the Distance home page for middle school, you'll see that it looks something like this. We've got buttons that take kids to announcements, to modules, and then to email the help desk if they have technical issues. What you're going to do is edit this home page. So you're going to change the course name, your name, and then enter your email address and then hit the space bar afterwards so that it's underlined like this. Then students can click on it and easily email you. For the daily schedule, you're going to leave that column in place. And then for the Google Meet links, what you're going to do is create a Google Meet link that students can click on and use to access class in the event that we are in distance learning. And there's a really easy way to do that. What I like to do is just go right next to the time here and type in g.co slash meet slash we'll say for this hills and you can customize whatever you want on the end here. You could put your last name, you could put a last name and then a number depending on the class period. And then what I like to do is to make sure that this is hyperlinked so students can just simply click on it. I'm going to copy this text click on the link icon up here, click on an external link. I'm going to type in http colon slash slash and paste in that. And then students will see what the link is. They'll see this meeting code here at the end. And then because it's now underlined and hyperlinked, students will be able to click on it to get right to that Google Meet. If I am going to reuse this link, I can copy it and paste it down for another class period. What I would recommend though is that you do actually customize these per class period that you teach. And the reason for that is especially if you ever use breakout rooms, they get really messy if you're using the same link over and over. So I'm gonna just click on link options here and add a one to the end of these. You'll see that it changes here to be Hills 1. And it also changed the link to go to Hills 1 as well. So we want to make sure that those line up. And then you can either type in your meeting code down here and go this route. Or copy and paste it and then just tweak the link. Then you have Google Meet links lined up for all of your class periods. That's all you need to do. You click on save and we're done. Now one thing to note about these meeting codes here is that students cannot join them until a teacher has joined them. Another thing to note is that if a teacher or para were to join this meet before um, the actual teacher of the course and let's say you have a co-teacher for example and you want other people to be the host, the person with all the controls, you can now transfer that ownership of controls over to whoever the rightful teacher is of that course. So if you have that happen, that is one way to get around that. And then also, when you are done with class, make sure that all the students have hung up before you leave, otherwise they could rejoin your link, or you can click on the quick access button and students would no longer be able to join your Meet. So for more information on Google Meet and how to set that up, we've got some links below. 
And now let's say, for example, we do go to distance learning. The thing that you need to do in order to get your home page set correctly is click on pages, view all pages, and then you need to make sure that whatever page needs to be set as the front page, that you do that. So here we've got the distance learning homepage. I'm gonna say use as front page, click on home, and there it is, the distance learning homepage is set. That's it for the distance learning homepage. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to a blended learning coordinator.